After the Tesla holiday update for 2020, people have been asking how to install the external speaker, the pedestrian warning system speaker on their Tesla. If you don't have a car that's pre-wired for the speaker but missing the speaker, Elon has posted a tweet that he's going to talk, talk with service or engineering and maybe we'll have a solution. Don't hold your breath. Uh, if that's your case, like me, then that's pretty much the end of the video for you. But if you do have the car pre-wired, let's take a look and see what you're going to need to actually install that and get it working. First, you'll need a full self-driving computer, and I'll show you how to check that here. To see what hardware is installed in your car, you'll first come down to the controls button, which is the little icon of your car. We'll go into software, and then we'll go into additional vehicle information. We want the autopilot computer to read full self-driving computer, like so. The reason you need the full self-driving computer is it has two pins that are used to generate the audio to the external speaker. Next, you'll need to order the speaker from the Tesla parts catalog. I checked on the Tesla Model Y and the Tesla Model X and found that they both are labeled Model 3 pedestrian warning system speaker, so it appears to be a universal part. After you've obtained the speaker from Tesla parts, you'll need to install it into the wiring harness. Then what you want to do is go into your app and set up a mobile service appointment where you're going to request that your vehicle configuration be updated to reflect that you have the speaker installed. Once your car downloads the new configuration from Tesla, it'll either activate the service, it'll activate the sound menu, or it will line itself up for another update where it gets the update with the sound in it, and you'll be good to go. And we'll catch you on the flip side.